What's up, multiplayer? It's been a while. Now, there's going to be some big changes around here. Mainly, me moving my webcam up slightly. That way, you can see a little bit more of the screen. And that's it. That's it for all the changes. That's all we're doing. As we're still going to be having a low KD. We're still going to be running our head at a brick wall, hoping we get our camos unlocked. And hopefully, we'll be able to get Interstellar sometime soon. Actually, maybe we lower the webcam a little bit more so we can still see the little calling card pop-ups. There you go. But I feel the need to say this. I know most of you guys probably get the picture, but just because I'm playing multiplayer now does not mean I'm going to stop playing zombies. I feel like every time I switch up even slightly into like what game mode I'm playing, even if I'm playing the same game, some people think it's the end of the world then i'm just completely not going to touch the other mode again that's not true i'll be trying to have a nice balance between the two of me playing some multiplayer here trying to get uh what is it interstellar while also going back into zombies and trying to get bioluminescent because i do want to get both the camos i think i'm going to try to alternate like between like each day maybe i'll get some multiplayer camos like one day the next day zombies and I don't know, there might be a few day gap in between something like that, but we're going to have a healthy mix. But I really do like this game multiplayer. I just got so sucked into zombies when this game first came out that I felt like I, I couldn't put the game mode down. I really wasn't expecting it to like it that much. And it kind of just took over my entire like life of this game. Like If I can remember, I'll show you guys my stats when we get out of here. I think I have like close to five days and just zombies and maybe not even a day in multiplayer which is crazy but if you can't tell already i'm gonna be working on the shotguns today i think i already have like a pretty decent amount of the camos done obviously i have like most of these lo weapons leveled up like i have all my shotguns leveled i think there's only a few guns in the game that i don't have leveled but as for the camos we got to do i just need kills while adsing with like two of the shotguns and another one i just need kills with uh hip fire and then on all of them, I need double kills. And then I should be able to get gold pretty quickly. Knock on wood. But I'm going to try to treat this series kind of like how I did in like Cold War and last year with MW2. Where I, I kind of just, you know, ramble about whatever while I'm playing this. Uh, kind of for zombies, I more talked about like the weapons and what was going on with them and if they were good or not. I, I'm going to do a bit of that here in multiplayer, but I'm mainly going to be focusing on just like picking up the camels. The camos. Jeez. I'm having such a hard time speaking. And they're just talking about like, I don't know, shit going on in my life. Shit going on with like the lions. If we want to talk about sports. I don't know, just a bunch of random bullshit. And I could have had like eight kills right there. But since we're on the topic of the lions and we haven't done a, a gamer guy does sports talk segment in I don't even know how long. I don't think I've talked about the lions much in a video this year. But this has probably been like the best season I've ever seen from the lions like in my lifetime. I think total... Uh, excluding this year, there's been three whole years where the Lions have had 10 or more wins in my entire life, which is crazy. We have just been perennial losers for the longest time, and I think it's starting to, to change around a little bit. We finally won our division for the first time since, what was it, 91, 93, something like that? You know, years before I was even born. And the last time we won our division, it was not even the NFC North. It was the NFC Central. So before, you know, a few days ago, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have won our division more recently than us. And they haven't been in our div division in close to 30 years. But I've just been having a good time with it. Obviously, we've had our ups and downs. You know, we've, we've lost some pretty bad games like the Ravens beat the ever living shit out of us. We had a, a tough game against the Bears a few weeks ago. You know, Packers also beat us, unfortunately. But, you know, we, we split games with them, which isn't terrible. But it's like we've had, like, a really, really good offense that sometimes it feels like they're they're letting their foot off the gas a bit. They're not doing as much as they could. Like, I feel like for some of the teams we beat, we could have beat them by, like, a million. Like, for the Panthers, I feel like we could have ran up the score a little bit more. Even though we scored, like, 42 points that game. It was just how bad they were playing there. And then for the Saints, we started out hot, you know, scored... 21 points in like what three minutes and then just kind of let them come back into it i think uh recently our defense has played a bit better it's been like the the sore spot on our team for a while we're getting some uh key players back from injury which should help out a bit but for the most part my expectations going into the season was that we were going to win the division we had to win the division it was, it's like the weakest the division's been in a long time and it's the best we've been in a long time so if we didn't win it there'd be even more concerns there but now, next up is to try to win a playoff game. And with how up and down our, the, our conference seems, the NFC, I think we might be able to do it, depending on who we're going against. Because believe it or not, the Lions have not won a playoff game since 
like 1991 or something like that. That's just ridiculous. I I'm just glad it's finally turned around. I hope it stays turned around. It feels nice to finally watch a team that has, you know, something to play for, you know, excluding those few years that we did decent. And speaking of decent, we got 47 kills that game. I'm going to guess 55 deaths because this is shipment and it is me playing. Oh, 51 deaths. I was close. Did we get any of our camos done? We did. Not even see it pop up. I was already in the blabbing mode. And that was our ADS kill. So we can kind of switch this more to a, a hip fire build. That should be a bit better. But this is what I was talking about with my stats. I have 17 hours, 43 minutes in multiplayer with a 1.0 KD. We're riding the line there. And then zombies, I have six days, 14 hours. Even my X fill ratio is better than my KD. That's absolutely ridiculous. We got to tighten up this game and get our double kills. I probably should have looked at what the gold challenge is because I already forget. And you know what? Maybe we uh, try to have a positive KD this game too. Let's make that. Let's have two goals. And it's already not working out very well for us. We just got to play a bit slower. I need to run right at everybody. I say as I walk at people. Okay, we got a double kill. That's fine. I immediately reverted back to my primal state of running right at people until shit is unlocked. There we go. Nice double. A triple even. A little four, a five. There's like a fine line in between rushing and, and camping, and I can't seem to find it. I just gotta kind of move around one area and see if I can be successful. Ooh. Ooh. How's that a triple kill? There's so much time in between those two. Ooh. I don't know why I keep trying to, like, push these further angles. Like, these angles where I know my shotgun's not gonna kill. Ooh. Like, I give a fuck, though. Ooh. That actually made the gnome sound. There we go. No way we're not done with doubles yet. Oh, I think I heard it. We were blind when we got it. And since I don't know what our gold challenge is, I'm going to switch classes so I can just start working on the next gun. What the hell is this? A zombie? They got frozen zombies in here? They actually did a really good job with this winter sh shipment map. I like it a lot. And I hate that they put like all this work into this map and we're never going to see it again until maybe next year if they decide to bring it back, but we'll be on to the next COD by then. But now that I got used to hip firing, we gotta go back to getting ADS kills. Might as well get these out of the way. This build I got for the Haymaker is atrocious. I don't, I just put everything into ADS speed, basically with the biggest mag possible. I'm making classes like this is hardcore. I still have, I, I don't think I've ever mastered being able to make a good gun build. Like for zombies, I just throw on like the highest damage possible, highest mag. And I just let it fly because it don't really matter that much in zombies. Yeah, there's some meta builds and stuff that go crazy. But for the most part, you know, pack a punch, rarity, ammo mods, perks, those things can kind of cover up any weapon. Multiplayer, though, I have never been able to make a, a, a decent build. I'm straight to Google anytime I, I play Warzone. I'm like, all right, that's a good build for this gun. I'm just winging it today. And it's not working out the greatest. We got all our ADS kills done. We finally start hip firing again. And let's change this build to a hip fire build now. I think this is probably decent. We can mess with it a bit later. Ooh, there we go. I just lucked my way into a, a quick little quad. And we got our asses kicked. But did I go positive? We had 59 kills and 48 deaths. Yeah, that's like 11 kill difference. I'm almost like the Jameis Winston of COD. I'm going to put up good numbers, like offensively. I'm also going to throw like five or six picks or like 70 deaths. That was that gold challenge. Two kills shortly after sprinting. Okay, we can do that. Now that we know that, let's knock out gold for this real quick. That's got to be one. That's got to be one. That's a death. This camo challenge is just enforcing my bad habits. I was just trying to break them. By not sprinting and running right at people. And now it's got me doing it. Oh! Forgot I had a throwing knife until that life and we immediately hit one. Feels good. What about another? Oh, if that had a little more range, might have been uh, the makings of a clip. Nope. About to get clipped. Ah! Oh, the throwing knife is so back. I'm so in it. I don't even know how I killed that guy. I like, there, there's like YYs, there's there's silent shots. I just hit him with the, the Casper shot. My gun was even on screen. Okay. 
Oh my Lanta. Oh, if I hit that throwing knife, we're so back. And that's gold. Perfect. Or gilded. Apologies. I go to the haymaker now. Oh, and our double kills are done with this. Now I think we can move on to gold. And that challenge is to get three kills within the same magazine with hip fire, which is very specific. But you know what? I don't even remember what I was saying. My brain just went to like phone static or TV static. See, I don't even know the fuck I'm talking about. All I know is kill and be killed. This one's been more of a struggle than I thought. I'm getting fucked up. They're all playing right next to each other and they got guns just long enough range for me to not touch them. Oh, never mind. There's gilded. I lied. Oh, it was, kills. It was two kills shortly after sprinting for this one again. Oh, I was thinking of the, the forge challenge for this. Okay, either way. Onto our last gun, the Riveter. I still need 50 kills with it somehow. I need hip fire kills and I need double kills. Let's knock it out. Oh! Let's go! I'm good for, for one play a game. Outside of that, don't expect shit. There's our 50 kills. Shouldn't be too far behind on the others, hopefully. Oh, and there's our double kills. They are very generous with the double kill timing. I get a kill. You know, go take a smoke break. Maybe make a pancake. File my taxes. And I still have enough time to get another kill for a double. All right. I think we might be able to get gilded in our next game. So let's make sure we check on all of our forge camos. This, I need 25 multi kills with a riveter. I'm going to need three hip fire kills with one magazine. And 25 one shot kills wall ADS. Damn it. Just let me hip fire. Why got to add the wall ADS on there? All right. Hip fire kills should be done right there. Now we just need some multi kills. Nope, it's actually kills after sprinting. I, I keep skipping the, the gilded and going right to forge. We just need to sprint around with it and shoot around with it. Oh, and there's our gilded. All right, we can finally start working on our forge. Might as well do it for the riveter since we already got it out. Let's get some multi kills, shall we? Nope. We got other plans. Now, by multi kill, does it mean like any two kills and higher or do i gotta get like three kills at a time like all back to back to back like what the fuck are they talking about because either way i'm not getting any of them i'm getting one kill maybe and then dying this game is humbling me for whatever ego i had that's a triple does that count as a multi oh that's a multi kill if i've ever fucking seen one add a quad to it Ooh. Oh, we got forged. I saw it pop up for a split second before I died. Crazy that they even show camos while you're like fully flashed. If it wasn't for my keen eye, I would have missed it. Now we need our three kills with the same mag with this. Now, I don't want to say it. I don't want to give it power, but a certain CC is happening. I keep getting two kills and dying. I don't even need to stay alive for these. Well, I guess technically I do. I wonder if I could just, like, die, pick up the same gun, since it's the same mag, and still get the three kills? That's a little complicated. You know, I'm just gonna say, the camo curse is back, and it's hitting me hard. And I'm not helping myself out very much. Let's go back to what we tried to learn earlier. Play a little slow. No need to rush everybody down. Let them come to me. And we just got four kills with that mag, so... That's a good start. Oh, and I just COD reloaded. Damn it. I was one kill off of getting the three kills with this one. No way we only got three oh, as hip fire kills. Still, only one out of 15, really? Holy shit. Yeah, that's actually a triple kill with the same mag. That better be progress. That's another one. It's like all my three kills in the same mag are all triples. It's either triple or nothing. There's another. This camo's taking forever, dude. How are we not done with it yet? This has got to be it though, right? Come on. There's actually no way. Are these even counting? Or is it just picking and choosing what three kills count? It's all RNG. Finally. I've been released from my hell. Now we just need to do our... our Kills while ADS with the shotgun. The lamest way to use it. We gotta make sure they're one shot, one kills though. I think if we get any sort of hit marker, it's it's Jover on the progress. I might actually throw slugs on this. So I wanna see if that'll help. There we go. I could hit a shot that also might help. Why isn't it counting as one shot, one kill? Is somebody else damaging these people? I don't see the one shot, one kill medals popping up. 
Yeah, still no one shot, one kill medals. I might have to take the slugs off. That was a fast experiment. What? It's like every kill now. It's it's not killing them in one shot. Hey, the second I say something, it happens. My prophecy just becomes truer and truer every day. If you continue to bitch about something, it'll work in your favor. We're just walking around scoped in like a goober and it's working. Oh, and there it is. Right as the game's ending. Holy shit, I was about to say... Oh! I was about to say nothing. The game's gonna check for update. At least I've been playing zombies. I was gonna lose all my shit. But I think I had like 70 kills that game. And it took that long for me to get 14 of them with one shot, one kill while ADS. And now my game is froze. Sick. What a way to end. Let me make sure that we actually got our camo though. Oh, yes we did. How many forge do we have? I have eight forge, so that's three shotguns, three snipers. I did two melees and that's eight. Yeah. Look at me doing math. All right, well, this is what our Lockwood 680 looks like in game with forged on it. And I'm still not the biggest fan of forged. It's just a very bland camo. Like the texture on it is all right, I guess, but it's just silver. It's whatever. And here's our haymaker. Same shit, different butt or whatever the saying is. And last but not least, the Riveter. The AR looking shotgun that this camo also looks like shit on. But for our first time back on multiplayer, these camos were pretty easy to get. We got like all the way up to gold on every single one of our shotguns in about an hour. And then it took almost an additional hour just to get forged on all of them. I kind of felt like they weren't tracking as much, but I could just be ass. It's uh, very likely that I am just ass. Anyways, that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.